If you haven't watched parts 1, 2, and 3 yet, please go check them out first. This episode builds directly on those lessons. Welcome back to Screens and Dream the Channel, where student developers learn real-world tech using AI and modern tools. I'm Muhammad Jibran Rihan, a passionate full-stack developer, Class 10 student intern at Combine Foundation, and an active learner at GIAIC. This is day four of our seven days of coding with Next.js, and today I'll show you dynamic routing, a core feature that brings flexibility to your app. In the app router of Next.js, 14 dynamic routing means you can create pages with variable parts in the URL like blog slug or slash product slash ID. That lets you load different content based on the route just like real websites do. For example, slash blog slash my first post slash product slash 23 slash user slash Ali 123. All of these use dynamic segments. Let's build a dynamic blog page. In the app slash folder, create a folder like this. Hash app blog slug page dot tsx. The slug part means it's dynamic. It can match in any blog title in the URL. Inside page dot tsx comma right. Export default function. Blog page params. Return blog params dot slug. This is a dynamic blog page loaded with the slug from the URL. Params dot slug is automatically available. No imports needed. Dynamic routes are used in slash product slash ID for e-commerce, post, slug for blogs, user, username for user profiles. This makes your website scalable so you don't need to manually create every page. Here's a more advanced example using mock blog data. Const post equal sign, slug first post title first blog post content. This is the first post. Why a slug next jest guide title next dot jest guide content all about dynamic routing. Wa export default function blog post params const post equal sign post find p equal sign p dot slug equal sign equal sign equal sign params dot slug if post return post not found return post dot title post dot content. This logic is often used with real APIs or CMS like Sanity, Contentful, or Markdown files. So what did you learn today? Dynamic routing lets you create pages that change based on the URL. You can access the URL segments via params.slug, and you can use this for blogs, products, user profiles, and more. Great job following along. In day five, I'll be diving into data fetching, including server-side rendering static site generation and fetching APIs inside dynamic routes. Subscribe to Screens and Dream, and leave a comment if you're enjoying the series. Type hash code with Gibran to let me know you're coding along.